People count. You count. And you can count on us to deliver real people stories from around the territory. This is People Count. Hi there, and welcome to People Count. Today in the show, we have Major Claudia Ruiz from the Broomfield Corps in Colorado. Hello there, Major Claudia. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Very good. Nice. Tell me a bit about your back to school night coming up. Back to school night is something that we want to um, do because we have a lot of new kids in the program this year. So it's an opportunity for them to come and the kids, um, we want them to sing, have a do some sort of presentation and then introduce the parents to what their favorite activities are here. Um, we have so many different rooms. Some kids just always love to be in um, like the gym area or the game room area. So we would like the kids to share with the parents their favorite things about this program. So um, that's coming up pretty soon. Nice. And it's an after school yeah. care program? So this is an after school program. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. How many kids do you have there? We have 50 kids on a daily basis. Wow. Yeah. See each, yeah, each table holds about 10. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very cool. So, uh, how long has this been at Broomfield? It's been here about nine years. Wow. Nine years, yeah. Cool. And then uh, what kind of effect have you seen this have on the core? Like, do any of the kids from the after school care come to core or vice versa? You know what? Yes. Um, we have many families that were originally connected by the after school program. So about 75% of our families that go to the core are, were first connected to the after school program wow. and um, are doing both. So our core has a lot of young kids. <laughs> nice. That's really cool. Yeah. Was there anything else that you wanted to share about it? I mean, when they first get here, they um, eat. Most kids are very hungry, so we have snack time. Today is bean and cheese burritos. Um, and then from there, they do homework. They do um, their favorite time is 4 o'clock, and that's free time. And that's when they could go to the gym. They could go to a game room, either of the game rooms. We have two different game rooms, or they could do arts and crafts, and they really look forward to that. Um, a special thing about our program is that we um, like to do leadership, so we're promoting, um, we want to promote positive attitudes. Um, let's see, um, positive attitudes, so we reward and we acknowledge good behavior, and we do this in different ways. One is team building, so the kids themselves um, are leaders of tables, of a table, and they help line up the kids, do the cleanup, do certain setups, and whenever we see outstanding behavior, we reward nice. them for that. And the table that gets the most um, points that week gets a great, you know, gets a prize at the end of the week. So um, we also give rewards for daily, daily um, good behavior. So we try to focus on just the positives. What are the good things going on? And it really makes uh, for a nice added, um, atmosphere. Right now we have devotions. Um, it's devotion time. And usually that could be a tough time, but we um, encourage in participation and all that stuff and it really helps we we see a really nice attitude with the kids um and it really helps the staff as they work day in and day out with them um and just promoting a good atmosphere all around nice well, that's an excellent story that's really cool thank you for sharing yeah thank you thank you for asking <laughs> yeah sure thing we'll see you later it's really cool that 75% of the kids at the Broomfield Corps came through their after-school program. Thanks for watching People Count. We'll see you next time.